Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and today I want to talk to you about how braces work. So when I first became an orthodontist, actually before I became an orthodontist, I basically thought braces were magic. It doesn't really make sense to me how you can put these braces on with a little wire and make everything go nice and straight. That doesn't make sense. Invisalign is even more weird. It doesn't make sense at all. Now that I have the knowledge, I'm trying to spread it to you because I get two questions asked, um, I'd probably say every day, every time we're putting on braces. Number one is, do braces hurt? Actually, it's probably two, three tough questions. Number one is, do braces hurt? Number two is, how the heck do braces work? And then number three is always colors. They always ask about colors. Can I get colors? Can I get all this stuff? The answer for the colors question is yes. You can basically get any color you want. That's just the clear ties that go on these things and I'm gonna help answer that right away. So I'm gonna to try to finish this video before there's a massive storm coming here in Dallas, Texas. Um, so I'm gonna to try to get this done before that. But yes, I'm gonna guide you through how braces work, how these wires work, what the braces do. And so let's go, let's figure it out. All right guys, so let me explain how braces work. So yes, they're partially magic but there are also a lot of science involved too. So let me kind of explain some of, the, some of the kind of basics of braces so we all have a kind of a basic understanding. So right here, these are actually the brackets. So these are the braces, and then this is the, um, the wire that goes in between. Kind of hard to see because on, on these teeth, we don't have any colors, but normally there'd be colors that go around the teeth. So that's what I was saying in the intro. I'm saying, hey, the kids can get whatever color they want because the color is just the things that go around the teeth, and we got lots of them. We got like uh, we got your teals and your purples and your, we got like pinks, all that type of stuff. So we have tons of colors. So that is what they say when they say, hey, we've got colored braces. It's basically just that. Um, some of the instruments we use, we use this kind of explorer looking device, and that's to help us get off the colors. And then this, you guys have maybe seen before, and this is what we use to put on the braces. We hold the brackets in this thing and we put it on the teeth. Then you have this thing, and this probably would be your best friend if you actually had it at home. And this is called the distal end cutter. And this thing cuts the end of the braces whenever you have those wires, or end of the wires, sorry, whenever the wires are poking you a little bit. And then you also have this thing. This is kind of just, a, just like a little cutter. And we use that to cut like different ligature ties and power chains and kind of stuff like that. Stuff that's a little bit smaller. Um, and then we have the mathow, and this is what we use to actually put on the colors. So the colors put on is pretty easy. So normally we'll just grab them, grab a, let's grab a purple, let's take it off the thing, and then we'll just put it on the tooth or put it on the bracket. Yeah, and that's really, that's really how easy it is. It's really quite quick and, and easy peasy. And then like I said, with the Explorer, that's when we're taking off the color. So we just go here, boom, and we take off the color. It's really that easy. And that's actually how fast it is in, inside the mouth and this stuff's all easy peasy. So then let's talk about the wires. So let's grab this one right here. And this one is called a nickel titanium wire. And these are where a lot of the magic happens because as you can see, this is a U-shaped wire, but we can put lots of pressure on it. We can roll it up in the ball, do all sorts of crazy things and boom, it goes right back to its original shape. And this is amazing, this helps us out a lot. This is kind of an initial wire we, that we would use. It's pretty flimsy, pretty easy to bend into these really crooked teeth. And then what it does is it basically latches onto the crooked teeth and then wants to bring it back to the same shape. So you have to imagine as if, um, say you had a tooth that's right below the wire right here and we kind of push it in, we latch onto that tooth with those colors and then boom, gradually over time, the wire wants to come back to the same shape and give that same nice U shape. And that's actually how a lot of the initial straightening happens. Okay, so that's happening with these wires. So these, these wires, we call them a round wire. And that's just because if you do a cross section through, through the wire, it's, it actually would look like a circle. And that initial thing is basically just making these teeth nice and straight, nice and pretty. So we'd say that these initial wires are doing a lot of the straightening, the initial straightening. And that has mainly to do, if you're looking at this right here, mainly to do with the lefts and the rights of the teeth. 
Then you start getting to these little bit thicker wires, and these are called rectangular wires. Same thing if you do a cut through section, it would look like a rectangle. But uh, you can see it's in the same shape as the other wires, um, but it's just a little bit thicker. So this actually has to do with the torque of the teeth. So if I were to put this in the this mannequin here, I would could torque the teeth. So that means the kind of front and back portion you can do with this type of thick, thick wire. So that brings me to the kind of like the difference between braces because sometimes we'll actually a lot of times we we'll get transfer cases and they're coming from out of state or from a different city. And a lot of people think, hey, cool, you can just kind of continue the braces process without much difficulty. But the problem is, is each orthodontist kind of uses different brackets and it's particular to that orthodontist. So I know it's, it's kind of a little hard to see, but wherever the wire goes in to the bracket, we call this the kind of bracket slot. And there's really two sizes. There's an 18 slot and a 22 slot. But in that, there's also different, well, different name brands, obviously different companies. And then within those companies, there's different prescriptions. So some dentists or some orthodontists want a specific tip and torque to the tooth. So the tip is this tooth. It has a certain tip, and that'd be the left right of the tooth, kind of like going, you know, left or right, and a different torque, and that's the front back of the tooth. So each orthodontist has kind of a specific formula that they like. That's why when you go from one orthodontist to the next or one state to the next, it's hard to find somebody that actually can kind of just continue on with your case because everybody is so specific. And I kind of have to explain that um, often, actually, pretty much every week. Um, going back to the wires, though, so we have these nickel titanium wires. Oh, this, the, although this is a thick wire, it's still nickel titanium, so you can bend it all over the place, boom, it still goes back to normal. Then you get these thicker, actually not thicker wires, although people might think they're thicker, they're actually the same size, but they're just made out of a different material, and this is called stainless steel. So unlike the nickel titanium, when you bend it, this stays the same shape. So that's why a lot of times you'll see orthodontists, when we're getting towards the end of treatment, we'll do a lot of bends in the wire. Because say we want, you know, we want one tooth to be up or down or tilted or something, we can just do a quick bend, boom, quick bend in the wire, and whatever the wire does, the tooth is gonna do as well. So that's how we finish off a lot of cases, and that's how you know if you have a good orthodontist, because if they make nice, easy, good bends, um, you're gonna get a really nice, good finish, okay? Um, the next thing is, yes, I know I've already talked to you about single ties, and that's just the colors of the braces. You have something else called a power chain. And this is where a lot of fun happens, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard this called power chain or power, power train or different types of um, words. But what this does is this will actually close spaces. So you have to think about it like this. So you have two teeth kind of spaced out apart. We will go and put one end of one ring on one end of the tooth and the other on the other one. We have to stretch it out in order to do that. But over time, just like the other, just like the night tie wire, this wants to go back to the same shape. So you can imagine if we're stretching this out, putting it on the teeth, over time, boom, it wants to get small again. And that's basically what power chains are doing. So if you come in and you have some gaps, you have a gap in the middle, we'll put it on a couple teeth, boom, stretch it out, and then the teeth will want to come together again. So now you're learning the basics. Let's review this a little bit. So you have, we'll almost always start off with a nickel titanium wire, boom. Nice and flexible, can kind of get all those crooked teeth, and this is going to make the teeth nice and straight. Then when we're looking to, to do with stuff with the torque, we'll still take a nickel titanium wire, but it's thicker, so it's still one that's bendable, and it's going to affect the backs and forth of the teeth. So some people's teeth are sticking out too much, this is going to help bring them back. And then we're getting to the end, we're going to, do, we're going to use the stainless steel wire. And these are the wires that we can use to, we can, do different bands and really kind of finish off with your braces and give you that nice, perfect, beautiful smile. All right guys, there you have it. I got done with this video before the crazy storm started coming in and I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the questions and comments you guys have been leaving. As you know, I'm trying to do my best to either, either answer them below or answer them in a video. So once again, if you have further questions or comments, please leave them below. 
please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.